funeral services will be held in Vatican City for disgraced former Boston Cardinal Bernard Law. And we've learned that Pope Francis himself will be taking part in the services at St. Peter's Basilica, something that is not really sitting well with victims of the clergy sex abuse scandal. Eyewitness News reporter Julianne Lima is in the newsroom now with the latest. Well, Danielle and Patrick, it's now been more than 24 hours since Cardinal Law died, and since his passing, victims of the clergy sexual abuse have had to relive some of the darkest moments of their lives. I feel no remorse in saying that I hope he gets what he deserves in hell. There's not a single day that goes by that I don't remember what happened to me. I don't realize the effects that it's had on my life. Those are just two of the hundreds of victims sexually abused by priests in the largest scandal to ever hit the Catholic Church. As the former Archbishop of Boston, Law admitted to transferring priests who had been accused of sexual abuse to other parishes, allowing them to recommit the same crimes. Many were outraged to find out Pope Francis himself will participate in today's funeral at the Vatican. However, current Boston Archbishop Cardinal Sean O'Malley says the church isn't straying away from standard procedure. The mass that he is receiving is what any cardinal in Rome would receive, but I think there's greater understanding today than there was uh, 15 years ago and a more realization of uh, the the pain of people who have suffered from sexual abuse. Law's funeral is at 9.30 a.m. our time, 3.30 p.m. Rome time. Reporting in the newsroom, I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News.